on everybody today me and my son are heading out to capital city bmx in raleigh north carolina uh it's in uh, lions park we are heading out there to do well i might have i was planning on maybe racing uh but i forgot my helmet hopefully somebody's got a helmet there for me to uh use or rent uh, we brought a couple of bikes and uh, we're going to see, but uh, I'm a little disappointed I didn't grab my helmet because it was just right there, but we were running late and uh, uh, we're going to get there just in time for them to start racing. We'll see if we actually do it or not, but uh, hopefully we're going to see some pretty cool bikes and uh, we're going to say hi to some customers that, uh, you know, we've uh, uh, been taken care of for years. So uh, we'll see you there. to Lions Park 15 minutes before the first race, so I had zero track time. This was not ideal since I haven't been here for at least six years. Today, I'm going to be riding a 1992 Elf Double Cross. It's a really cool bike. It's going to have a full chromoly frame, a nice chrome finish, with a very unique double chainstay in the back. It comes with profile three-piece cranks, a DK stem, and it has a lot of potential depending on the rider. Racers ages range anywhere from three years to as old as you feel. I saw kids from three years old to what looks like at least to be in their early 30s. Today, it cost me $10 to enter the old school class and let me tell you, you don't have to be old to enter. You just have to have a pre-1993 bike to have fun. $10, I thought, was a bargain considering what you get out of it. You get to meet a lot of fun people and get to check out some really cool bikes, not to mention getting lots of exercise. I want to thank Capital City for lending me a helmet so I could race today. If you want to race, but don't have a bike or gear, they have lots and are happy to loan or rent you anything from a helmet to a bike if somebody didn't beat you to it. It didn't take long before the old school class was up, and I really felt at home since I'm old school. We got Nelson, James, James, Chris, Jim, and Doug. And Renee. So I think we're missing Renee. Oh, out in front we got Nelson Lee's the way. We got Jim Stone in second place. We've got the 298. 288 of... Renee in second place, third place. We got James, we got Chris, and we got Doug. I'm hearing squeaky brakes going around the turn. It's October 30th. And I completely forgot the fact that it, tomorrow is Halloween. And I realize this as I see people riding their BMX bikes with Halloween costumes. They always put on the scene. <laughs> My dad's in this race here. Oh, 
Oh, and they're racing this one too. Early game. We got Anthony, Jason, Aaron, and Zach. Shannon and Julio. Oh, Shannon's taking no quarters, but here comes Anthony on the inside. It's going to be Shannon on Anthony and two. Looks like it's the 546 with Julio in third place. Oh, the last one. She went off the track. That's okay. Real loud in the afternoon. Oh, feet are out. No one cared. No quarter given, no quarter taken. Look at those feet out. The elbows are low. Knees are low. That's, that's a long track. How was it? Tiring. That's what, how it was. We have got Shannon Antonio fighting for that first place. Shannon's in first, followed by Tony, followed by Nelson. Followed by Jim. And then Julio. And last but certainly not least, Trip. Going into that third turn, it's still Shannon, Anthony, and Nelson. He took that turn real high, but held on. They could put him on bikes. They could actually do stuff. Going to be Shannon. Anthony and Nelson. All right. It was my final race day, and if there was any chance of me getting a trophy, I needed to make this count. Well, we are back from this year's 2022 Capital City BMX Old School Challenge. 
I had a blast. My son had a blast. We took those cool bikes out, and uh, I even got to race some. And, uh, you know, above you know, all odds, I ended up coming home with two trophies. Uh, one trophy was actually for, um, it was Racer's Choice Coolest Bike. And uh, I ended up getting this on my blue torker that I wasn't even racing. I let somebody else borrow the bike because he, he really wanted to, to race, but he left his old school bike at the house. So I let him borrow my uh, blue torker since I was planning on selling it and people ch could check it out. And amazingly, the first race he did with that torker, he got first place. The second race, he got first place. And then on the third race, I think he got third place, but he placed third overall, which was really cool, especially on a bike that he's never ridden before. And the second trophy was um, me racing my Elf Double Cross. It's a 1992 uh, Double Cross. And uh, I ended up getting first place on that. Uh, but I got the first place in the B category. So I was not the fastest overall, but I was faster than other people. And uh, my first, first place trophy I've ever had. So... Uh, we really had a blast, and we're really looking forward to uh, next year when they're uh, going to be doing it. So if you check them out, and again, that's Capital City BMX in Raleigh, North Carolina. You can check them out on Facebook and Instagram. They're planning on doing this twice a year, and I'm going to tell you, we're going to be there because I had an absolute blast. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a, a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends. Check out some of the other videos on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. We got a winner.